in commencing this gathering and in accordance with established protocol, I would like to respectfully acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of the land on which this event is taking place, namely the Jaguar people. It is wonderful to see that so many of you have been able to set aside the time to be with us on this very important occasion. I take this opportunity to acknowledge the presence of members of the Queensland Police Service Senior Executive and higher ranking management from commands, regions and this training establishment. We also extend a warm welcome to our guests from other emergency services, the Federal Police, and representatives of the Australian Defence Force. In addition, a special welcome is given to our award sponsors of the Recruit Training Program from government and other organisations. The induction parade is traditional, having been part of our service since 1958. Today marks the graduation of intake three of 2013 of the Recruit Training Unit. They commenced training here on the 1st of April and completed 25 weeks of training to achieve their individual goal of becoming police officers in the state of Queensland. Today's graduating recruits will be escorted onto the parade ground by police motorcyclists, acting Sergeant John Wilkins and Senior Constable Brett Sweeney from the Indrapilly unit of Road Policing Command. The Parade Sergeant, Senior Sergeant Lester Brooks, will now call the recruits onto parade. He will sound the police whistle to attract everyone's attention. This is symbolic to how police drew the attention of the public and other police officers at the turn of the century. The Parade Sergeant is also carrying a swagger stick traditionally conveying a sense of law and order to others. These accoutrements symbolise the significance and the importance of the position of the parade sergeant on today's graduation parade.
Ladies and gentlemen, the manager of the recruit training unit, Inspector Darren Carnes, will now take command of the parade. The parade will now receive the parade host, Assistant Commissioner Paul Wilson, Education and Training Command. He will be met by the Manager, Recruit and Policing Skills, Superintendent Andy Morrow. The arrival now of the Deputy Commissioner, Specialist Operations, representing the Commissioner, Mr. Ross Barnett. We warmly welcome Mr. Barnett's wife, Senior Sergeant Helen Barnett, Officer in Charge of Sandgate. He'll be greeted by the parade host, escorted to the dais, and received by the parade with a general salute. The parade will now receive our principal official guest, the Honourable Mr Ian Kay, MP, Minute Member for Greenslopes. He will be met by the Deputy Commissioner, escorted to the dais, and accorded a general salute by the parade. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand now for the Australian National Anthem to be sung by recruit Olivia Smith. Police officers in uniform are requested to salute. Please be seated. Undoubtedly, the highlight of our program is the imminent induction into the Queensland Police Service of the recruits on parade. I know that many of you have travelled long distances to be here for that very reason. Before a person begins to perform duty, 
there is a formal process to be applied in accordance with the Police Service Administration regulation. This practice requires the individual member to pledge his or her loyalty to our Sovereign Queen Elizabeth II. He or she then signs the oath or affirmation of office in the presence of a commissioned officer of the service. This segment, referred to as an induction, is the transition from the learning environment to being a sworn officer in the Queensland Police Service. As part of the procedure, each member is presented with a wallet containing his or her identity card and official badge. Table officers, please fall in. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand now for the administration of the oath and affirmation of service. I invite my colleagues to reaffirm their allegiance to our sovereign by reciting the oath or affirmation of office in unison with the recruits on parade. Prefaced by the word I, state your given names and surname in full. You are to repeat your oath or affirmation of office after me. Swear by Almighty God that I will well and truly serve my Sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law in the office of constable, or in such capacity as I may be appointed, promoted or reduced. Without favour, affection, malice or ill will, from this date until I am discharged, that I will cause Her Majesty's peace to be kept and preserved. that I will prevent to the best of my power all offences against the same and that while I am a member of the Queensland Police Service I will to the best of my skill and knowledge discharge all duties legally imposed upon me faithfully and according to law, so help me God. Thank you, Deputy Commissioner. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Please be seated. Table officers, be seated.
Today we are inducting 90 recruits into the service. They commence training here at the Oxley Academy on the 1st of April 2013. They have completed 25 weeks of recruit training. This included instructions in the areas of driver training, physical skills education, computer training and firearms and officer safety. The parade sergeant for today's parade is Senior Sergeant Lester Brooks. Lester is an intake coordinator within the Recruit Training Unit and has been involved with police training since 1998. He commenced his career in policing in 1989 and has previously performed general duties in the Logan District. The flag party for today's parade is composed of facilitators from the recruit training unit. The members carry the Queensland state flag on the right with the Queensland police service flag on the left. The flag party commander this afternoon is acting Sergeant Colin Flaherty and the flag bearers are Sergeants Lisa Duncan and Sergeant Leanne Major. The facilitators involved in the training of the graduating groups are police officers with operational experience and staff members who have an academic background with the skills required to teach in accordance 
with the education requirements for this training establishment. We would like to acknowledge our award recipients on their achievements during the recruit program. These recruits are Nicholas Flock, Alice Turnbull, Kirsten Everett, Stuart Berry, Adam Houston, Erin Martin, Brandon Tucker. Congratulations to all our award recipients. Our next parade will take place on the 31st of October 2013 here at the Tom Molloy Parade Ground. On that parade we expect to have 69 recruits inducted into the service. Thank you, table officers. Please fall out. Ladies and gentlemen, Deputy Commissioner Barnett will now present the Executive Award. This honour is given to the individual who has achieved excellence, competency, 
and professionalism in the recruit program. Assessment is accredited on individual conduct, leadership qualities, skills performance, academic results, and commitment to the ideal principles of service to the community. The Commissioner's Award for Intake 3 of 2013 is Constable Nicholas Locke. Nicholas will be presented with the perpetual shield denoting his achievement by the Deputy Commissioner. Ladies and gentlemen, Constable Locke. The Queensland Police Service Statement of Ethics supports our vision and purpose to deliver quality policing services. It is a commitment that every member of the service undertakes in accordance with the standard of practice, the code of conduct and the functions of the service. It underpins our vision, purpose, priorities, and qualities of the organisation, namely courage, fairness, and pride. The Statement of Ethics is a standard expected by the Commissioner of Police, colleagues, and community, and an acceptance by the individual to practise high standards of conduct and behaviour as a police officer both on and off duty. I now invite Constable Locke to adopt the Statement of Ethics on behalf of the Constables on Parade. On behalf of the new Constables, I am pleased to adopt the Statement of Ethics. As a member of the Queensland Police Service, I have a duty to protect life and property, preserve the peace, prevent offences, detect and apprehend offenders, and help those in need of assistance. At all times, I'll carry out my duties without fear, favour, malice or ill will. I will act honestly and with the utmost integrity. I will make every effort to respect and uphold the rights of all people in the community, regardless of race, social status or religion. I will strive for excellence and endeavour to improve my knowledge and professionalism. I will keep confidential all matters which I may learn in my official capacity, except as necessary in the course of my duties. I will practice self-discipline in word and deed, both on and off duty. I will resist the temptation to participate in any activity which is proper or which can be construed as being improper. I will not misuse my office for personal gain. I will order I will accept responsibility for my own actions and for acts which I may order. I accept the desirability of these ethics as an integral part of my personal and professional life. Thank you, Constable Locke. Senior Police Chaplain, Reverend Graham Ramsden, will now offer the blessing. Lord God, we know that it's through establishing processes for justice, peace and good order that a caring community works to keep safe those who are vulnerable and innocent. For this reason, we ask your blessing upon these newly graduated constables as they commence their career as sworn officers in the Queensland Police Service. We thank you for their willingness to serve the community in this way and we are thankful for the hard work and personal application they have given while preparing themselves for the duty of being a police officer. We pray they may always exercise the powers of their office with responsibility and that they may be aware of the influence they are entrusted with as police officers. 
Lord, empower these new officers with courage when they are confronted by danger. Give them integrity when confronted with ethical choices. Endow them with compassion when assisting those suffering and victimised. Grant them impartiality while enforcing the law and bless them with a willing graciousness to accept assistance when needed. Be present with these officers in the challenge of their new profession so that at the end of every shift they may, with confidence and pride, know that they have served with honour. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Ramsden. Ladies and gentlemen, Deputy Commissioner Barnett will now address the parade. Good afternoon, everybody. Can I just say what a privilege it is for me personally to be representing Commissioner Stewart here today. Uh, there's a number of acknowledgements that I'd like to make, please. Uh, our uh, special guest is Mr Ian Tay, MP, the member for Greenslopes, who is representing our minister, the Minister for Police and, and Community Services, uh, Mr Jack Dempsey. It's a privilege for us to welcome Mr Kay back as a former uh, serving police officer in the Queensland Police Service. It's great to have you here, sir. There are a number of members of the senior executive here. Uh, my brother, Deputy Commissioner uh, Strategy, Policy and Performance, Steve Golcheski, Deputy Chief Executive Corporate Support, Paul Brown, Acting Deputy Commissioner Regional Operations, Peter Barron. We have a number of assistant commissioners and executive directors here, too many to uh, mention individually, but can I thank them all for their support. We have a number of uh, distinguished guests from outside of the department. Uh, the uh, Director General from the Department of Community Safety, Mr Kelvin Anderson, is here. Representing the Commissioner for Queensland Fire and Rescue Services, Mr Mark Roach. Representing the Commissioner for Queensland Corrective Services, Mr Mark Rawling. We have a number of military representatives here. And representing the Commander Combat Support Group, RAF Squadron Leader, Jerry Matt. Representing the Commander, 7th Brigade, Australian Army, is Lieutenant Colonel Carlyle Fagan. A Senior Naval Officer, South Queensland, a Commander, Peter Tedman. Representing our uh, good friends and colleagues at the uh, Federal Police is the Commander of the Brisbane Office, uh, Commander Mark Walters. Uh, there are a number of uh, award presenters also who have joined us on the parade, but I particularly acknowledge the General Secretary of the Queensland Police Union of Employees, Mr Dennis Sitch, the President of the Queensland Commission Officers Union, uh, Detective Superintendent Brian Wilkins, uh, Commission Officers, distinguished guests, police officers, including our newest police officers on parade, ladies and gentlemen. It's with great pride and pleasure that I welcome you all here today to witness the induction of our most recent graduates of the Recruit Training Program as they are appointed first year constables during this ceremony. The Oxley campus was officially opened on 24 March 1972, welcoming 150 police cadets. The first swearing in induction ceremony was held on the 15th of December 1972. More than 40 years later, the Academy continues to provide world-class training to our recruits. I'd like to thank all of the staff and those who've supported the education of our newest constables for their dedication and professional standards. Because of you and your passion for the QPS and policing, we have 90 new officers ready to serve Queensland's diverse community as first-year constables. The 90 graduating constables will serve throughout Queensland. They've been allocated uh, to uh, Central Region, where 15 officers are going, the Brisbane Region, where 24 officers have been posted, Northern Region is receiving nine new officers, South Eastern Region, 24, and the Southern Region are the beneficiaries of 18 of uh, our newest constables. The greatest asset that our organisation has is our people, and today is a very special day for you as new police officers. You should be very proud of your achievements so far, and by choosing this path, you have taken on a great responsibility. To be sworn in as a police officer is a significant achievement. Our standards are high, and only a small proportion of those who apply eventually become sworn officers. You have all undergone extensive training across a, across a wide range of disciplines, 
that training has prepared you well for the work you're about to do. There are also many family and friends here today and I acknowledge that this is a special occasion for you all. I would like to thank you for all the support you have provided to this point as you see the completion of your loved one's initial 25 week recruit training program to becoming a police officer. I would encourage you to continue providing that support as these new officers begin the next phase of their careers and face the challenges ahead as operational police officers. These careers may take you to places throughout the state of Queensland and to serve some of the many diverse communities and varied roles within the service. There are many expectations placed on the Office of Constable and my expectation and that of the Commissioner is that all of our people work together every day to support each other, to stop crime, make the community safer and build strong relationships. Achieving these simple concepts requires people of the highest calibre and commitment with a unique combination of qualities such as those before you here today. As our newest constables, you should remember that you are now the public face of the Queensland Police Service and I expect all of our people to act with courage, fairness and pride. You should have the courage to always honour your oath of service and the statement of ethics that was adopted on your behalf by Constable Nick Locke, who was a recipient of the Commissioner's Award. You should display fairness and be professional at all times, acting objectively and without bias, remembering that every member of the public is treated with dignity and respect. Every interaction is an opportunity to build relationships and achieve a positive outcome. You should take pride and place a high value on teamwork, people, our performance and our partnership with the community. Policing can be a dangerous job. You need to accept that there is always an element of risk in police work. Remain vigilant to minimise risk, avoid complacency, stay alert and be aware. And finally, you will see the good and bad sides of our communities. You will encounter some of the worst kinds of human behaviour but I ask you to remain positive, to stay focused and ensure your actions are always just and fair. I'm extremely confident that the future of policing is in good hands with the constables that are here in front of us today. In closing, I again congratulate each of the constables who have graduated today and wish you every success. I warmly welcome you to the Queensland Police family and wish you all the best for a long and successful career within our organisation. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Commissioner Barnett. May I now introduce our principal official guest, the Honourable Ian Kay. Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, a great pleasure to be here this afternoon. And uh, I'd just like to start by uh, just going over a couple of those acknowledgements. Uh, firstly, of course, Deputy Commissioner Ross Barnett, uh, the Department of Community Safety Director General Kelvin Anderson, QFRS Chief Superintendent Mark Roche, QCS Acting Commissioner Mark Railings, Commissioned Officers, uh, Dennis Sitch representing the Queensland Police Union of Employees, distinguished guests, police officers, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, uh, our 90 new police officers getting sworn in today. I am indeed honoured to be here representing the Minister for Police and Community Safety, the Honourable Jack Dempsey, at this special occasion today. Unfortunately, the Minister wasn't able to be here today as a, a head of prior commitment, but he does send his best wishes to you all and he commends you on all of your hard work and commitment and uh, choosing a career in policing. As has been said, we've got 90 uh, recruits graduating today and I'd like to acknowledge the sacrifices that you have all made and the commitment that you have shown. Congratulations and well done. Seeing so many new faces joining the police service is heartening but it's also fantastic to see so many family members and friends supporting you as you begin your career. I'm pleased to note that all of our graduates bring unique skill sets to their new careers from university degrees, business owners and community workers but equally important tertiary skills and previous careers, uh, these graduates bring with them renewed perspective and new enthusiasm for a career in community safety. That in itself is a breath of fresh air 
and gives me optimism for the future of policing in Queensland. Graduating from the recruit training program is a significant achievement. Not only are the graduates required to meet rigorous QPS entry standards and complete 25 weeks of study, they are also trained in firearms, driving, operational skills and tactics, physical education, computers, police history, policies, procedures and legislation. The training program mirrors the QPS organisational requirements and prepares recruits for the realities of policing. It is both true to life and professional, addressing the ever-changing and dynamic nature of society and the QPS workplace and environment. Policing is a difficult job, never more so than now. You are expected to behave with a high degree of integrity, professionalism and accountability regardless of what you face in your daily roles. It is your job to keep our community safe by maintaining law and order. Police are required to manage an extremely busy and often stressful work environment while working in partnership with local communities and other government agencies around Queensland. It is a challenge, but it is also very rewarding. Working with the community is vitally important and I encourage every one of you to become a part of the community that you serve no matter where it is in Queensland. Professionalism, integrity and hard work. Throughout your time as recruits, you have all demonstrated these qualities. You have done yourselves, your families and your community proud. And I urge you to continue to operate with the highest degree of excellence with everything that you do as members of the Queensland Police Service. I'd also like to encourage you to be thankful and appreciative of your family and friends. They have supported you through your training and they will be your rock throughout your career. They will be the ones who stand by you, care for you and often worry about you. They deserve your appreciation and your respect because being the family of a serving police officer can frequently be difficult. On behalf of the Queensland Government and the broader community, I'd like to extend my thanks for your acceptance of this responsibility to care for and protect us all. We take great pride in the quality of the first year constables that we have seen graduate today. Uh, as the Deputy Commissioner mentioned, myself uh, being a former police officer of 23 years until last year, um, I've uh, got the experience to vouch for everything that I've said here today. Uh, and I can offer a little bit of advice, which of course is optional, it's not mandatory. And if I was to give some advice on what qualities make up a good police officer, the ones that spring to my mind are common sense, the ability to talk to people, more importantly, the ability to listen to people. Also treating people as you expect to be treated yourself. Make sure you keep up your training and don't be afraid to ask questions. Importantly, if you aren't travelling well, don't be afraid to ask for help. And if anybody's wondering, um, I did actually still enjoy the police after 23 years and the challenges and the commitment. Uh, so the only reason why I left was when I got elected. Finally, I'd also like to acknowledge the facilitators and the support staff at the QPS Academy, the ongoing support from family and friends and the current efforts of serving police officers in Queensland. I wish you all the best with your careers and thank you for dedicating yourselves to the communities that you serve. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Kay. The parade will now retire and reform in preparation to complete the final segment of the ceremony.
In the final manoeuvre of this ceremony, the parade will advance in review order. This movement involves the constables marching forward in line, concluding with a general salute. This is performed with no offensive spirit and is given as a mark of respect to the principal official guest, Deputy Commissioner of Police and members of the senior executive. The parade commander, Inspector Darren Carnes, will now resume command of the parade. Parade Commander will now call for the Parade Sergeant and hand over command. Ladies and gentlemen, the flag party, accompanied by the Queensland Police Pipes and Drums, will now march off parade to Black Bear and Scotland the Brave. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. The constable started as a recruit intake in April and were trained in four individual groups. They will now form a united intake in preparation to serve the community of Queensland as police officers.
The parade sergeant will now call for a member of the graduating intake to assume command of the new constables. This final gesture recognises the individual for her performance in the leadership role throughout the training program. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the new constables of the Queensland Police Service. Before the new constables are dismissed, may I thank you once again for being here with us this afternoon. At the conclusion of the parade, please feel free to move on to the parade ground to congratulate the men and women who will now join their colleagues, serving the people of Queensland in law enforcement. The parade host, Assistant Commissioner Wilson, would then like to invite you for light refreshments to be served in the Academy dining room. On behalf of the members of the Queensland Police Service Senior Executive, may I thank you for your attendance here today and wish you a very good evening and a safe journey home. Constable Turnbull will now lead the new members in thanking you in their own special way. She will then dismiss the parades. <laughs>